Alright, hello everyone. I just want to make a quick video on a crazy theory I came up with for Season 3 of Mandalorian. So, check this out. Telling by the title of the video, you already know who I'm going to talk about. Who might make an appearance next season. But before you click out of the video or click dislike, hear me out. It's very plausible that the notorious, infamous Jar Jar Binks is coming to season three of The Mandalorian. And here is my my statement on how he's going to be returning to the Star Wars universe. A couple of days ago, the fan website MakingStarWars.net, usually known for the leaks and rumors of upcoming Star Wars projects, has released an article talking about prequel era ships coming to the Mandalorian, more likely season three. And the main one is being the N1 Naboo Starfighter from Phantom Menace. So in chapter 13, the Jedi of Mandalorian season two, when Ahsoka was able to read into Gorgu's mind, stating he was raised and trained in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant during the fall of the Jedi Order, Order 66 and the rise of the Empire, he was taken from the Jedi Temple by someone. So this is where my theory comes in. If the apparent leaks are true about Mando and Grogu going to Naboo, which I will put the link of the article in the description of the video, but no, what would, what would be the reason why they would even go to Naboo if Mando has any connection to the Amidala family? I don't know, that's a stretch. But what if Mando and Grogu get to planet Typhon and maybe through the force, whatever the scene stone does, recovers some of Grogu's memory because it went dark at a point of his life. So imagine this memory flashback of Grogu in the Jedi Temple where all the younglings are. But maybe Grogu was in a certain chamber of the Jedi Temple that possibly holds four sensitive infant beings during Order 66 when the 501st and Anakin stormed the temple. During the flashback scene, you see a scared Grogu hiding behind a temple chair and you see a silhouette that darkens the lighting on Grogu's face. And you hear these words. You saw a big doodle this time, Grogu. I mean, and the clones are storming the temple saw. <laughs> no, 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 but in a serious note, what if they want to make, I guess he's considered the most hated Star Wars character, but say one of the most beloved characters in modern times, basically giving Jar Jar Binks a redemption arc, kind of like, you know, an anime scenario, when a hated character gets a redemption arc, and at the end of the arc, everyone loves that character despite all the wrongdoings. And everyone knows Jar Jar Binks <laughs> gave the emergency powers to She Palpatine. Basically, George Lucas, when he said that Jar Jar was the key to this, was the key to everything, Jar Jar was the key to the rise of the Empire and fall of the Jedi Order, but also being the key of the resurgence of the Jedi Order. Hmm, kind of ticks all the boxes. The actor Amon Bess also been very active in the Star Wars community in general lately. So after the flashback ends, Grogu is probably going to pass that vision to Mando through the Force because technically he can't really communicate with him by speech, prompting Mando to take Grogu to planet Naboo, eventually meeting up with an older and much wiser friendly Gungan as we know him by Jar Jar Binks. So that's my theory that I came up with on how possibly Jar Jar Binks can be in season three of The Mandalorian. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video and this theory. Don't take this as a serious plot line or leak whatever of what to come next season. It's a little fun theory I came up with. I kind of want to do more of this theory stuff. So if you want to hear more theories, drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when these theory videos come out. 
but may the force be with you and enjoy your day.